Hello YouTube. Today we're going to talk about my portable ham radio setup that I'm currently working on. Setting up a portable uh, ham radio station is, is pretty easy. You need certain parts. You need something to power it. You need a radio. You need an antenna setup. Now for the purposes of this video, we're not going to use this antenna. I'm going to do a review on this one a little later and set it up. But at the moment, I've got some antennas up in the air. I've got a VHF antenna and a T2FD, which is a uh, two-element terminated folded dipole. And for the purpose of this, we're going to use that. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the radio. Okay, first of all, I acquired a, uh, radio, a bag at the local surplus store. It's made by uh, Red Rock, and uh, it has a shoulder strap. And uh, it seems to fit everything just fine. Uh, the type of radio I have in here is a uh, FT-857. Basically, here's my power cord. I've got a length of uh, wire cut to 55 feet. So if I need to make a long wire antenna. And the actual radio itself, I have... in a little carrier thing that I got from a company called Portable Zero. Basically it has a battery pack box on it but I haven't yet acquired the battery for it so the purposes of this video I'm going to be using an external 35 amp hour AGM battery. But basically in hooking this up it's pretty simple. Now another thing that I have in the bag get it open is an LGD auto tuner and uh, I also carry various cables necessary to plug up 12 volt for the uh, auto tuner the control cable the hook to the auto tuner to the radio, patch cable to hook the uh, auto tuner to the radio's antenna, and I'll carry a portable uh, SWR meter and a Wofi link radio to computer interface, which I use on my tablet when I want to do digital modes. Now that we have everything set up, I just have to turn it on. Turn it to a station. Get the auto tuner. And we got a station. Now, if I wanted to, I could uh, jump in in an emergency, get in and get into the conversation. I can call CQ or, uh, or do whatever. But I've got a full 100 watts power with this radio and uh, when it's in battery mode on the little mini battery pack uh, I can jump the uh, brown wire and make it do uh, 30, uh, 20 watts max um, like I said I have yet to buy the battery for this and uh, I'll be getting that next time and when I get that I'll be doing an updated video on this anyway this is my portable ham station um, I also carry around a little vertical antenna that I can use, which I have 
off to the side here, which I can assemble. And uh, hook it direct on the, uh, the back of the unit for VHF. Or I can also use a patch cable, a coax, and uh, hang this off a bag or for a backpack or something for portable VHF operation. Um, the FT857 uh, went in battery, mo special battery mode with the brown wire. Uh, we'll do 20 watt max uh, on all frequencies except for 70 centimeters, which it'll do 40. I mean, I mean, it'll do a little bit less. But um, basically, I can use this radio to operate QRP, or if I have a, a more powerful battery, I can extend it. I can also unjump with a brown wire and in a pinch use this battery to do full power, though it's probably bad for the battery. Uh, for this battery, of course, I can go full power. But anyway, uh, that's my setup, and uh, if you like it, uh, like I said, it is a work in progress. And if you like it, uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. And like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.